Hello guys, today I'm going to do a video on Sons of Forest with the RTX 3060 Ti. We're going to be setting it off at 1080p at the max settings. Alright, jump into the settings and then display. Here we are at 1080p and for graphics, this is the ultra preset. There we go. And no DLSS yet, but I'll enable it as we go through. Alright, let's jump into it and see what we can get. Okay, here we are at our camp in the middle of the jungle. We're chilling with this, with this cannibal. Yo, back up, bud. Chill. So creepy, man. And our boy is right here, walking into a tree. <laughs> Look at him, where is he going? Hey. I need you to make me... Um... Campfire, please? Build fire... Yes, please. <clears throat> now get on it. Can this guy... Hey. You, you need to back off. Why are you following me? Are you done with the fire already? <laughs> okay, I guess the fire is done. Let's go back and check it out real quick before we go. Oh no, who killed him? It wasn't me, I swear. Wait, where's the camp? I forgot. Oh, here it is. That's not a campfire. You just put a bush on fire, dude. You're gonna start a forest fire. Okay, where's the camp? I thought it was right here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so he started a, a bush fire instead of a campfire. I guess that's fair enough. We'll come back to it. Alright, let's go exploring. This game is a bit stuttery to be honest. It's not the most stable. I've played a little bit already and the stuttering never goes away. But FPS wise it's doing fine I guess. We're sitting at you know, 70 to 80 FPS without the LSS. Which is fine. But I'm a bit worried for 440p. It might be falling below 60 FPS. In fact, I think it will fall below 60 FPS. But we'll see as we go. Oh, look at the VRAM usage. It's already at 7.7 .7 gigs of VRAM usage, so it's pretty much maxed out, which is not good. But it's okay. I'll go ahead and optimize the settings after we're done with the ultra settings. And that normally brings the VRAM usage down quite a bit. All right, let's go ahead and go to that green circle there. See what that's about. Maybe there's some loot we can get or some equipment, but yeah, we'll see as we go through. Surprisingly, the game hasn't started yet. When I was playing off camera, the game was stuttering quite a bit for a little bit, but hasn't happened since, since I started recording. But we'll take it. The screen is flickering there. I don't know if that's intentional or if that's just the game glitch, but it turned off for a second. Look at that stuttering. There it is. Finally happened. Not too bad though. All right, are we here yet? I can't see anything new. That was a major stutter there, right there. Hmm. Where is it? The stuttering is going crazy again, man. It's happening over and over again. Hmm. I forgot to mention this, but the game is in early access, so I guess it's not fully finished. I just ate a mushroom. That's not good. I'm gonna get poisoned. But yeah, I guess it makes sense why it's kind of buggy. Okay, so so far at the ultra settings at 1080p, the game has been running decently well. There are some areas that the game will stutter quite heavily in, and the lowest FPS has been around 59 for a split second, but I think in general it is running decently well and performance wise it's doing okay as well. There's a, wait there was a ball in his mouth. That can't be good. Ooh, can openers, that's good. That means we can find canned food and actually eat them. Okay, oh can I, hold on, stand back, ready to watch this. Did I go in? Oh I messed it up didn't I? Okay, you can't throw it in there. That's pathetic. Alright, I think it's time for some DLSS testing. So let's go ahead and pause the game. Hop into dynamic resolution and enable DLSS. Gonna go ahead and use the quality preset and go on from there. So, okay, so with the quality preset, FPS is now sitting in the 90s, but we are getting CPU bottleneck at times. So a 5900X is bottlenecking a 3060Ti. How does that make any sense? That is just crazy. So look at this. I come over here, GPU is sitting at 90% now. Yeah, it's going back up for a little bit, 95%. So it's not a like, consistent CPU bottleneck, but it will fall down into the high 80% usage or the low 90% usage for a little bit, which is not good. But yeah, I don't know. It's kind of bad if you're getting bottleneck at 80 to 90 FPS. That is just not good. But the quality of the game looks pretty good. It looks like TAA pretty much. So you can obviously use DLSS if you really want to, or if you've got a powerful enough CPU. But FPS wise for me, I'm gaining around 10 to 20 FPS on top of what I had native 1080p. Okay, and here we are with the optimized settings. There we go with that. It's a mix of medium and high settings pretty much. 
There we go. And now we're sitting at 80 FPS instead of sitting pretty much in the 60s and the mid 70s. So we gained a little bit of an FPS boost and the game still looks pretty good. If you don't want to use DLSS, then this might be the way to go. But this will be more effective for 440p and 4K. I think at 1080p you're already doing fine. You're sitting at above 60 FPS pretty much the whole time. So you don't really have to go with the optimized settings if you're already happy with the performance. Let's go blueberries, let's go. This is a very inefficient way of eating blueberries to be honest. What's up dude? Hold this. Oh, no he's blue- <gasps> I actually heard him, I didn't know I could do that. This game is quite inconsistent, in some areas you will still get 70 to 80 FPS with these settings. But on average you should be getting far better performance compared to native ultra settings. Like right here we're getting 98 FPS up to 100 FPS. I think before we were sitting pretty much in the 80s slash the low 90s. And, but yeah, unfortunately the stuttering is still here. It's not a consistent or like a very smooth experience. You will still get some stuttering depending on where you are. But other than that, FPS is doing fine. The quality looks fantastic. There's a bit of popping now. But I lowered the draw distance to help with the CPU bottleneck. So if you've got a powerful enough CPU, then go ahead and increase it. But I think for most people, having it medium will be the way to go. Alright, let's go ahead and head towards the cave. Maybe there'll be some surprises there. But, who knows at this point, this game is just crazy. See that? That's the main issue with this setting. The medium draw distance is just super aggressive with the pop-in. As you can see, there's no bush there at all. I walk forward, and it appears. So it's really up to you. I think for me personally, I would have it up to the ultra settings for draw distance. But if ECP can't handle the game, then just bring it down to medium and low. Okay, we're almost at the cave. Is he trying to eat the rock? No. I can't throw it. Okay, fair enough, whatever. Let's head towards this little cave over here. I'm not going to go inside because, you know, indoors it's not going to be as intensive on the GPU. Like being out in the forest with all the foliage, it'll be far more intensive. Let's go blueberry time. So yeah, overall at 1080p with the optimized settings, we're getting around 80 FPS up to 100 FPS, which is pretty fantastic. The main issues with this preset is the pop-in. And the stuttering is obviously going to remain, but other than that, the game looks good and performs well as well. Alright, let's push it up to 440p ultra settings and continue on from there. Okay, here we are at 440p at the ultra settings, getting just about 60 FPS. That is not a good sign. Obviously, once we go deep into the jungle, FPS should fall down to the mid 50s, even the low 50s if we're unlucky. Okay, let's get going. The game looks fantastic, man. It looks so sharp at 440p, it's insane. Looks great. I think at this point, we have to use DLSS to get a consistent 60 FPS experience, but that's not too bad. The game still looks pretty good with DLSS, so I'm not going to complain. And obviously with the optimized settings, we can get far better performance as well. Let's go ahead and snack up real quick on our blueberries. That's good enough. And let's go for a stroll into the jungle. So is the K our teammate? Is that what the K is? Let's see if he's here. Where is he? This GPS isn't very accurate, is it? I can't see anyone. Mr. K. Hello? Oh, there you are. That is so creepy, man. <laughs> he just walks at you like he's a bot. I mean, he can't even help me, can he? Like, he, what? He makes make a fire? Oh, get sticks. Logs, rocks, that's awesome. Okay, well, oh, his name is Kelvin. Mr. K it is. Oh, Kelvin. Cannibals, man. Disgusting. This game honestly looks pretty good. I gotta be honest with you. The game looks fantastic. The quality jump between the first game and the second game is nuts. I guess it's already been like five years between the two games, so it makes sense why it's improved by so much, but still looks great. I like it a lot. And to be honest, FPS is still sitting at 60 FPS. It did fall into the mid 50s occasionally, but on average, we're sitting at 60 just fine. So. You don't really have to use DLSS if you don't really want to, but I think it's recommended to use it. Just so you can have some extra headroom in case of a heavy situation. Wow, we're sitting at 50 FPS in the water. Look at this. 48 FPS in the water, man. The water is super intensive. 55 FPS on average pretty much in the water. Oh, snack time. Let's go. Can never get enough of the blueberries. See, there's another circle right there as well. There's two of them. It must be something important. I just don't know what it is yet. Okay, we're doing fine on water, food, and sleep as well. 
slept quite well after the crash. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. The stuttering, man, that's the main issue. If they could fix this, it would be perfect. Because the game is running decently well, but the stuttering is just ruining it a little bit. I gotta be honest with you. Well, Cannibal Camp. Oh my god. Let's just, okay, let's go and steal that stuff. Here's a gnome here. What's in the box? Gimme, give gimme. Give is there anything else? Okay, there's a box on the other side. Let's go and try to sneak there and get it. Oh, what is it? Okay, it's a rock. <gasps> no, 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 I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. What was that? Hey, what is Kelvin doing down there, dude? Why is it so far away from me? Let's group up. Okay, let's enable DLSS and see what we can get with that instead. Alright, and with balanced DLSS, we are sitting at 70 FPS. So we gained around 8 to 10 FPS, although what we had at native 43p, which is pretty fantastic. The quality looks a bit worse to be honest, it's not as good as native 440p, but at the same time, it's not too bad. It looks a bit softer compared to native 440p, but yeah, overall, it looks pretty good and it's definitely viable as a choice. And now obviously we have plenty of headroom, so if you run into a heavy situation, you should still be able to get 60 FPS just fine. So let's go ahead and get into the water. That area was very intensive, it fell into the mid 50s there, so let's head there and check it out. In a second. We're pretty much sitting in the high 70s now pretty much, in the low 80s. In the water we're sitting in the mid 60s, so we gain 10 FPS pretty much in this area, which is pretty good. Okay, for the optimized settings I'm choosing to go with a mix of medium and high settings, the same as 1080p, and with quality LSS. Okay, let's get going. We're sitting at 80 FPS right here, down into the high 60s. Let's get into the water though. This is very intensive before. Alright, in the water we're sitting at the mid to low 60s, so again, very good still. And the quality, to be honest, looks way better with quality DLSS versus balanced DLSS. Okay, so where do we want to go? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, there's a guy right there. I thought it was a fucking, I thought it was a rock, man. Dude, just leave me alone. They're just chasing me around. Oh my god, he's behind me. Please. I don't care, I'm not turning around. I don't care. No, he's not even here. So why did he scream like that at me, dude? <laughs> oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Relax. <laughs> oh my god. Mass open field here. Boom, birdie. Give me your feathers. I'm gonna make that into a bow and arrow. Okay. Oh my god, please stop. Stop, stop, stop. No, 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 I don't care. Why the... Dude. Why is he screaming like that? Chill. This area is haunted. So yeah, on average, you're gonna be sitting at 70 to 90 FPS, which is fantastic. And the quality looks pretty good as well. So it's definitely the way to play this game at 440p. All right, let's push it up to 4K and continue on from there. All right, here we are at 4K at the ultra settings. The game looks incredibly sharp. It looks amazing at this point. It looks amazing. I can't I can't say it enough. It looks, it looks great. Um, but you know, 40 FPS down into the mid 30s is not a great experience, so. At this point, the LSS is a must, but that's okay. Let's jump into the river and see what FPS we get in the water. Here we are in the water right now, sitting at the low 30s. Honestly, not too bad. The game is feeling kind of stuttery at this point, to be honest. It's not the smoothest experience, as you would expect. But obviously, with the LSS, it should look just fine and perform really well as well. So on average we're sitting pretty much at 40 FPS down into the mid 30s at 4K ultra settings which is a decent start but let's go ahead and enable DLSS and continue on from there. And now with performance DLSS we're sitting at 60 FPS. Pretty great to be honest, the game looks really sharp as well, can't really see any blurring going on which is good and FPS again is sitting in the mid 50s up to the low 60s. What is that guy, did he just do a roll? <laughs> is he okay? What's up Kelvin? Long time no see bud. Oh, he's getting chased by cannibals. That's why he's coming to me. He wants me to save him. All right, in the water we're sitting in the low 50s, unfortunately. But again, this is not a 4K card, so can't really expect too much from it. So the fact that we're getting 50 FPS up to 65 FPS is pretty fantastic, in my opinion. And now with the optimized settings, with performance DLSS, we are sitting at the mid to high 60s. Pretty good, pretty good. It's not a massive FPS drop, unfortunately. We do still fall into the low 60s. But honestly, it should be a decent FPS jump to hopefully keep us away from falling into the 50s. 
Let's jump into the water though. The game is stuttering right here again. That's not good. Alright, in the water. We're now sitting in the high 50s instead of the low to mid 50s. So a little bit of an FPS jump, but it's not a massive one, unfortunately. Alright, I think that's about it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in a couple hours for more Sons of the Forest. See you guys there.